I believe by paying it forward, even during adversity. So by making the reusable mask, I want my colleagues and staff to feel that I truly care for them so that they will be reminded to care for themselves. Back then, there were a lot of worry about you know, whether there's adequate PPE, how infectious it is, a lot of anxiety. One of uh, the teammates uh, started sketching and giving ideas and everybody just contributed. And I called one of my engineering friends. I need help. Um, we need to build something to help protect the healthcare workers. Can you help? Some of my foreign colleagues are uh, having some uh, tough time. I think it's already about a year since they went back and they're missing home a lot. Some of them call me mother. Maybe I remind them of their mother, you see. I like to cook for them things, bring for them food. Our first concern is really the elders. How do we continue to provide care and engagement to them? Definitely we can't go to their homes. We thought maybe the best way we can reach out to them is through this Care Ambassador project. Just as Jen said, you know, some elders don't want to eat. So we have Care Ambassadors who basically, you know, call up, you know, and then eat together with the elder. We're all together, we eat, we eat, we eat, we eat. Yeah, until the elders was a lot more comfortable and wanting to eat. We were tasked to set this uh, within a week, converted a car showroom to a workable facilities. Uh, we were managing uh, close to uh, 700 uh, beds per hall, so total is about more than 3,000 beds, which is a lot bigger than uh, what the number of beds in the Singapore General Hospital. Make no mistake about it, it is not a hospital, and, and yet, we have to manage it with the same standards as we would expect to deliver uh, in a hospital in terms of cleanliness, uh, the infection control measures and the ability to take care of the patients. For the elderly, the residents that we have at this, uh, their eras, they, have, they grow up with dogs to cheer them up. In this pandemic, bringing in the dogs in will relate to them their past experience. Then they'll talk about their past. Especially for remin uh, dementia, it's a good reminiscence for them to express their feelings, their love for the dogs and animals that they have. And bringing the dogs in, you can see the kind of affection that they gave them. They hug the dog, they pet the dog, they talk to the dog. Residents and patients, they deteriorate, their, their condition changes at any hour, any time of the day. Since I was already there and allowed to go in as a GP, it only made sense for me to also extend the care to them in the nursing home itself. I felt that you know, if I see myself as their family member, I should be there for them whenever they needed that help. The time spent uh, in dormitories, um, uh, the things that we went through, uh, the sweat, even though uh, we, we ran the risk of contracting COVID-19 itself. I think this whole effort um, would not have been possible without your contributions. And um, from the bottom of my heart, a sincere thank you. While people have gone away from the dorm operations, thankfully, we are now in a different phase of, of uh, operations. It's going to be a marathon. We need to hang on to our can-do spirit. We always rise up to the occasion, and I, I would encourage that we continue to do so, uh, because this is going to be a long haul for us. It is really a privilege as healthcare workers to be amongst the first in Singapore to be vaccinated. And I think healthcare workers as well as other frontliners need to lead the way and if essentially protect our patients and show the rest of Singapore that vaccination is effective and vaccination is the way to go to keep Singapore safe. For me, I think when I first started this, um, I saw my friends on the front line and I asked myself, what was I doing at the back line? You know, as the work evolved, and you see the importance of the work and the difference that it makes. It really goes to show every small part that you play uh, makes a big difference.